Hey guys, so we are going to start step one of the chocolate project right now, which is to take a look at Tinkercad and make our first model of chocolate. So uh, very briefly, let's just go over the dimensions. We are going to be looking at a length of 3.5 inches, a width of 3.5 inches, and a maximum height of half an inch. Okay, so we're going to start with Tinkercad. All right, so all you have to do is follow along with this video. Um, if you want to make the same one I do, uh, you can for now, but you know, ultimately we'd like some examples to show the students in the general class. All right, so good idea. You could follow along now and then make your own afterwards. All right, great. Let's get started. Hey guys, let's get started with making a, an example chocolate bar. Uh, so all we have to do is go to Tinkercad and log in. Right? You don't have to be associated with the class this time. You just have to log in. The accounts are free. So create one if you don't have one left over from last year. Go ahead and click on Create Design. All right, and then let's just start off by making a chocolate bar. How about we go with something that is a little bit unique? All right, I'm going to go with Polygon. So I'm going to click on Polygon, drag it over, and then let's just set our basic dimensions for the overall uh, object. So we have, let's see, we're in millimeters, we want to be in inches, so we're going to go ahead and click on edit grid in the bottom right, click on inches, we want to have our maximum be 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Remember that was from the uh, project requirements. All right, then we want to, let's make our snap grid 1 16th. Just make it a little bit finer. I'm going to zoom in here. All right, so uh, step one, let's go ahead and we have a maximum chocolate size of 3.5 inches. I'm going to do slightly below that. I'm going to go for 3.25 inches for my chocolate bar. All right, that made it very strange looking, so we got to do a little bit of fixing too. Let's get the other one to be that size. All right, so far this is an enormous chocolate bar very thick. I don't think it'd be very much fun to eat this chocolate bar because it's too thick. It's also past our width. So half an inch is you know, our maximum, but I'm going to go for 0 0.25 inches. All right. Looks like a nice chocolate bar so far. I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. So however, you know, whatever shape of chocolate bar you want to make, that's totally up to you. I think I'm going to go with putting a series of polygons on the top of this. So in order to do that, I'm going to press W. That's the work plane. After I press W, I'm going to click on the top of this surface. I'm going to press top in the upper left-hand corner to get that nice top view. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag a couple of polygons over. We're going to make these ones. How about... 0 0.5 inches, we'll see what that looks like. All right, by 0 0.5 inches, okay. And it's much too tall, so I'm gonna take a look at that. We Our overall chocolate bar is a quarter of an inch right now, so let's do an eighth of an inch, 0 0.125, okay. It's becoming a thick chocolate bar, but you know that's okay for now. All right, let me go ahead and see if we can place that there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, duplicate, drag this over, duplicate again, all right. And then I'm gonna select all three of these with shift and click. So I press shift and then I click all of them. I'm gonna duplicate them, drag them over, duplicate them again. Duplicate them again. Now let's see one more time. Ooh, a little bit too much. I'm going to go ahead and delete those, and then we're going to go ahead and respace those. So shift click, push those guys over. Shift click, okay. And then I'm going to choose these two guys with shift and click again. Duplicate them. Press up on the arrow keys. And I think I'll go ahead and move these in. All 
Yeah, something like that. That looks good. Okay. Same thing. Gonna duplicate them. Drag them down. All right. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put some text in here. All right, so I'm gonna click text, drag that over. Yikes, that's pretty big. So let's make the text physics. All right, and then we want this to be much smaller, so I'm just gonna drag it, something like that. All right, and we're gonna to wanna to rotate this. So we click on the rotation, 90 degrees, that will do well. All right, and then let's drag this over. Ooh, it's still a little too big. Let's resize it. I like that. Okay, so using the arrows to move things around when you selected them, always a wonderful skill. And wow, that is a very chunky chocolate bar. Let's not have it quite so chunky. So 0 0.125 inches, excellent. And I think that, you know, Hmm, this chocolate bar is still a bit thick. So what we're gonna do is press W, put the work plane back. Let's click on the base. Let's change this to 0 0.125, all right. And then we're gonna go ahead and raise that chocolate bar so that it is now gonna be touching the bottom of the pieces we had above. All right. Looks decent to me. Let's go ahead and select everything. And we'll press group. All right, group in the upper right hand corner. This should all be one piece of chocolate. Excellent. And the next step is to export it so it's ready to 3D print. All right, I'm going to Change the name, we'll call this Chocolate Bar V1. And then we're gonna export as an STL, .STL. It should download, and then why don't you guys, so we can make multiples of these, uh, upload this to the Chocolate Bar Teams page. All right, and then we'll look at how to use the 3D printer so we can make this first Chocolate Bar you've designed. All right, sounds good. I'll see you guys later.